State the restrictions and simplify. Let's begin by factoring both the numerator and the denominator of this rational expression. Notice here in the numerator we have a GCF of x. Factoring that out, we'll be left with 1 minus 2x. Now in the denominator we have a GCF of x squared. Factoring that out leaves us with 4x squared minus 1. Now we can see in the denominator 4x squared minus 1 is a difference of squares. Factoring that we have 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1. Now I notice that I can match these factors up by applying the opposite binomial property. So 1 minus 2x is the same, or it's equal to, negative 1 times 2x minus 1. And in the denominator we have x squared times 2x plus 1 times 2x minus 1. Now taking one extra step here, I'll write the factor negative 1 as a negative in front of the fraction bar. Now before we cancel common factors here, what we need to do is determine the restrictions. The restrictions are the values that evaluate to zero on the denominator. And so to find them, we can set the denominator equal to zero and solve. And so doing that here, we can solve by setting each factor equal to zero. So x squared equals zero. Well, that implies x equals zero is a restriction. 2x plus one, uh, 2x plus one equals zero, or 2x minus one could equal zero, right? So solving here, we have 2x equals negative one, x equals negative one half is a restriction. 2x equals 1, x equals 1 half. So negative 1 half and positive 1 half are both restrictions as well. Okay, with those restrictions in mind, we can then cancel. So we'll divide out the factor 2x minus 1. We'll also divide out x, and that'll leave us with an x in the denominator. Certainly when the entire numerator divides out, we're left with a factor of 1. And so that leaves us with negative 1 over x times 2x plus 1, where x cannot be equal to 0 or plus or minus 1 half. 